Two thousand kids. When was the last time you had fun? I, I mean, seriously, had fun. Remember when we just went into a building? I'm not talking about the mall, but remember when you go into a building and you just had fun with everything around you? Awesome, amazing stuff. Not the mall. I'm not talking about the play place at McDonald's. I'm not talking about CC's, although that's kind of sort of what I'm going with. But not CC's. Not the amusement park. N nothing like that. Not nothing common like that. I'm talking about something where you really enjoyed being. Two thousand kids, you missed out. In the nineties, we had a bunch of cool stuff. I mean, it was everywhere. Nineties was when they literally threw stuff at us. Literally, they. We, they came out with this thing called Generation Y. It was in magazines. It was everywhere. And they just threw stuff at us. Like all these movies, all these shows, all these food stuff. It was, it was everything at one time and just piling on top of us. It was, uh, we had Wonder Balls, which are illegal now. Kinder Eggs, because they got the little, got toys inside the, the candy. Uh, chocolate, and you can't do that. Uh, that's illegal. And has been for a couple, well, for since like I think the 1950s. But they really stopped doing it. In the, I mean, I, they've got away with it for like five or ten years. And they, then all of a sudden, about for the 2000 came, everything just got completely shut off. 2090s was over with. Uh, it, it, it was like that. It only lasted a decade. But everything was, it, it was literally, everything was gone. We had movies, when we had movies, Tears of the Park, for example, that movie should be, that, that was the movie of like the decade for, for, for kids like me. They, it was like, that movie should have been PG, you can look at it, it should have been PG, not PG-13, it was like PG. But that was when they came out with the movie stuff and all, all the movie ratings. 80s. 85, you had Nintendo, and that brought back the, they brought back the, uh, video game market, and Nintendo brought that back in 1985 with Nintendo, but, uh, but then in the 90s, we had the SNES, we had the Game Boy Color, Game Boy the original Game Boy, I think, it was in 1989, I believe. I guess I could kind of fit in the 1990s. Uh, we had PlayStation. We had, we had a bunch of stuff, tons of things. That and some of the food stuff back then, it would be illegal now because every, everyone's like, we gotta be healthy and everything. But, but 90s, everything was just thrown at us. But I'm just, I'm just going on right now. But Going back to the buildings. When I was a kid, there used to be a place that had ball pits, slides, swings, ropes, laser tag. Laser tag was a big thing back then. Uh, a food court. All under one roof. One roof. And... That started in 1990, they went bankrupt in 1999, I believe it was, after they had an IPO. Uh, yeah, right after that, they just went bankrupt. I've been once. I, I remember I've been at least once. I was begging my parents to take me, well, begging my mom to take me back back over there. But, uh, yeah, if you, it, when I say nine, 2,000 kids, I'm talking about anyone... 1996 to present. That you're you're not a you're not a 90s kid if you're born after 1996 because you, you won't remember any of this. But we had a place like that called. You guys already know what it is. If you've been born there and you've been if you're a 90s kid, you've seen it all. Discovery Zone. It was an amazing thing. It was everything. 
laser tag, like I said, laser tag, ball pits, food courts, concession stands, everything under one roof. And it was an amazing place. Uh, there's been a couple places in different states that try to copy that, but they don't get it quite right. I mean, this was everywhere. And it, it was like Chuck E. Cheese on steroids. That's because Chuck E. Cheese actually bought all the locations of Discovery Zone. And they either got rid of them or they converted them to Chuck E. Cheese. Discovery Zone was more of a play place than it was food. You know how Chuck E. Cheese is like they show food. Discovery Zone was more about playing than food. That That's how it was in the 90s. You had food, but people were came there to play. Uh, I, bring that, I bring that up because I like, you know, I've been doing these 90s, but I actually got a secret. Well, not a secret. I want to have something special to show you. This is, this is, I think this is rare. And I didn't know I had it until I was like, no, it can't be, and it just, you know, and I grew up, uh, grew up with all this, and I was like, no, I, that can't be right. It, it's not the same thing, or it was, uh, it was another place to remember. But I was thinking about it for a couple of years, and I thought, you know what, I think this might be legitimate. This might be the place to remember. And I can't believe I don't remember it. I remember the name, Discovery Zone. I, I remember the name. Uh, I said I couldn't remember if it was Kid Zone or, or I knew it was something Zone. And I think it was Discovery Zone. Uh, because I remember, I mean, they had everything. I mean, there's no mistake about it. I mean, this was in Houston, Pasadena. I mean, I was li living over there. Anyways, so I go back and I'm like, yeah, maybe that's right. You know, maybe this is, this is the right thing. So, anyways, I, th the reason why I bring that up is because this shirt, there it is. It's, this is an official staff shirt, actually. It, this is weird to me. I mean, I had this for like two years. I, I was like, that, no, that, it can't be. And I was like, okay, maybe it is. And if you look, let's see if I can bring it back. I don't know if you can see it. It says, coach. That means that this was a, a little, uh, a legitimate uh, staff shirt for Discovery Zone. Someone turned this in in a small town that I lived in. It's uh, about 30 minutes from Tyler, and in Tyler, Texas. And I guess they dropped it off, and I got this for free. And I was like, someone handed it to me, and I was like, you know, I, I've never been in that place. You know, I, you know, I thought I thought nothing of it, but then I thought maybe it is. So now I wear this shirt all the time. Now I mean, this is like my favorite. I mean, this is what I grew up with. You know, awesome, oh, awesome. It, it's just a, you, I mean, I try to Google this, uh, try find one on eBay or or yeah, on eBay. They don't have any. In fact, I haven't even seen any pictures of this shirt. But this is a legitimate shirt. I mean, this shirt is 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 uh, probably maybe uh, older, if not it's probably as old as if not older than I am. And I mean, 1990 was when that place started, and you know, stuff like that, you know. But I'll, I mean, somebody better get up with the time, get with the program, and. Make a Kickstarter soda and build this place again. Buy all the rights. Just, just go, just go all out with it, because I'd be there. I mean, and then another one. When I was in Pasadena in Houston, uh, we it still exists, and they got tons more stuff than they did ten years ago. About that same time when I was, when I went to Discovery Zone, I've only been this place once as well, and this was. The Space Center, the the Space Center of Houston, awesome place, awesome, expensive, but awesome. So if you go to Space Center Houston over there, uh, over there on NASA, 
Road 1, I believe it is. Uh, Nassau Bay. Nass I don't know how to pronounce that. Right? It's over there. You know where the Space Center is if you've been over there. But that place is awesome. Awesome too. Uh, but, you know, Discovery Zone. I've only been there one. And I remember, I mean, I remember this place. I was like, that, I, I remember when we were going to somewhere in Tyler as a, as a field trip. And I said, are we going to Discovery Zone? Now? All my friends and they're like, no, we're going to this zone. Place. They're not the same thing. And I was like, I remember that place. I've only been there once, but I remember the name, you know. And everybody knew it. And I, I, and I don't even remember the place where I was. But it was, it was cool. I remember it more than I do Discovery Zone. But I remember Discovery Zone's name, like right there, you know. It, it, it was like best marketing name ever it, it was I, I just remember it you know it was it was literally the best place to go as a kid awesome 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 but 2000 kids you're missing out the more like nothing compared to what was back then nope but you know But I, I have a feeling someone's going to bring that back. Not me, probably not, but somebody probably is. Within 10 years, they're pro someone's going to probably try it. Now, there have been attempts to do it, and they try to do everything, but it mostly got shut down because of violations of code and all that. I don't know if you could even do it anymore. Like I said, 90 day, everything was thrown at us, and... A lot of things are illegal now. So, you know, when you were a 90s kid, you knew you were a 90s kid because you had all this stuff. Everything was just, Pokemon was thrown at us. Games were thrown at us. Game consoles were thrown at us. We had everything. And I said, and they said the economy was good, everything. Every, every 90s kid was, was living the high life. Everyone had swimming pools. Everyone had a friend who... Or at least had a friend who had a swimming pool. You, it, it was everywhere. Everywhere. Nothing like it is today. Nothing. But I just wanted to talk about that because I had this shit I wanted to say. Well, why don't we do a 90s, 90s video about that? But I got to go. Uh, i see you guys later. Kickstarter information is going to be... At, at the, probably the middle of April, uh, which is, I'm going to, probably before that to y'all, but for the public, it's going to be around, after the middle, about probably the end, the end, definitely, we would have it there, and, uh, so if you guys want to check that out, or if, or if you want to, uh, get a, or you want to help support me, uh, go ahead and buy a wristband, you know, if you want to, uh, you know, show your support. There are three dollars, so go to the, email me, send me a uh, PM, and I'll, and I'll take that, and I'll take care of that. Um, I don't think I have my email, email for PayPal on on Skype. I mean not Skype on YouTube um, But yeah, if you if you guys want to Support me and support the team and everything You know, I don't want you to donate uh, I want you to you know have something to hold where you can look back on it and you know, you know I've said this before But if you guys want to do that you can uh, send me a PM leave a comment or something and I'll and I'll be able to see it. Well, I gotta go. Talk to you guys later. Probably see you next week. Or maybe later this week. Probably, probably maybe tomorrow. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.